I love the rain. It was always, you know, reminiscent of my childhood, you know, foggy mornings in San Francisco and just like rainy days. And it's very kind of comforting and calming. This really feels like home. I'm new to Brooklyn. I've been living in Brooklyn maybe for the past two years now. And I really love it because it's a little bit of an escape from the city. I wouldn't define myself as a fashion designer. I feel like my reach goes beyond just fashion. I would probably define myself more as just a creative. The most pure source of my inspiration is just kind of living my life. I mean, I find inspiration, honestly, it can be anywhere. Watching a cooking video or a skate video or walking down the street or taking a taxi, riding my bike through Chinatown. It's really kind of having some loose ideas in my head or things that I might be interested in and it's just stuck there in my head. And then I just live my life. And then I might things might kind of connect all of a sudden. This is like my favorite tacos that my mom used to make. So I like jacked her recipe. Recipes my grandma and my mom would cook. We brought those back during the pandemic. That's when I decided to start cooking like the restaurants we really miss. I like dimmed the lights and like we had a little bar. These are the Heron Preston Levi's collaboration. We wanted to bring our two labels together. So the iconic red Levi's label and then mine. Um, and this is from the mistakes are okay. Like that coin pocket isn't supposed to go there, it's supposed to go lower. Or like, you know, the belt loop is reversed. This is the correct way. This is all about embracing our mistakes because sometimes as a designer, the coolest ideas come out of a, a mistake. You know, that's, there's a thing called happy mistakes, right? So like, this is what this, is what this collection is all about. The sweatshirt is a Caterpillar collaboration. And so, you know, I leave my labels blank because I really want people to write in you know, right in there. This is one of the first samples that we got. I do a lot of collaborations as well, so this is another one that I'm really excited about. You know, so that's what cooking is all about. It's like, it might be, you don't know. It's all about experimenting and trying new ideas. Well, there's a lot of special projects that I really want to kind of start to work on, pushing the potential of what's possible in fashion. So I'm looking at like new technologies that I want to start to incorporate into my practice and also like new partners. Sometimes I may feel like I'm not doing enough. It could always be better. I feel like I'm a perfectionist to a certain extent and so making a decision may not always be the f decision I want to make. I always have to kind of go and think about it for a really long time because I really want to make sure that I'm sticking to my gut. That color, is that the right tone? I'll ask around. Yeah, are you sure? Are you sure? I have to sleep on it for a while. You know, I don't really trust myself so much. I want to trust myself more. Because I just felt that there was just so much more potential that street work could hit. I mean, the, I think the ultimate desire was really to kind of get these ideas or these dreams out of my head and kind of present that to the world. It was all about just elevating and kind of pushing, filling the gap of what I felt may have been missing and looking at kind of reducing the impact of, you know, our, the damage that we're creating on the environment. So it's looking at organic materials, recycling materials, you know, upcycling materials, and taking a lot of the information that I learned during that uniform project with the DSNY. So that department sanitation collaboration, which was all about promoting the city's initiative called Zero by 30, which vows to send zero waste to landfills by the year 2030. I thought that would be really cool with the sanitation workers wearing a collection by a fashion designer. So like those uniforms were government property. So I kind of like upcycled those, deconstructed them, reconstructed them. Oh, this is Butter Bands. He's a young DJ from uh, Detroit. Music just really kind of takes me away. So growing up, I bought my first turntables. I was always exposed to just like, you know, scratch battles and stuff like that. So I really wanted to kind of scratch when I was growing up. So I would buy like break beats and just be scratching in my living room. I just had, I could only afford one turntable at the time. <laughs> so I had one turntable and I had a boom box playing just like beats and I would just be scratching. Um, and then when I moved to New York City for school, I started throwing my first parties at a local bar.
I moved to New York City in 2004. I started working for Nike, and then I started working with Kanye West. But I had side projects as well. One brand was called Ben Trill with Matthew Williams, who's now at Givenchy, and Virgil, who's at Louis Vuitton. Like, those were my boys. But eventually, like, that stuff became my day job. But I grew up skateboarding in San Francisco. San Francisco is like a skateboard mecca. Like it was all about kind of like this culture around the sport. Mixtapes, music, books, sneakers, t-shirts. Not necessarily so much fashion. I was really just into style. And so I was just really kind of excited kid. I was a sponge absorbing a lot of culture. My dad was like all city quarterback. So he really wanted me to play like more like traditional sports in school, which I actually never really enjoyed that much. So I actually always kind of veered back towards skateboarding. You know, I think I just kind of continue to just keep an open mind. I think that's really how I kind of push my curiosities is just never kind of limiting myself or putting blinders on them as, as accepting and open-minded as as I can possibly be. Discipline, patience, focus, not letting distractions to derail my focus. Getting out these dreams, that is success to me. The biggest hurdle is staying true to my vision and staying true to kind of what my heart is kind of really feeling. And I think that's kind of what, you know, has allowed me to kind of stay as long in this, in this game as possible.